This is how this is how I get familiar or it becomes muscle memory. This is how I do it. This is the way of Japan. All right, dash, and then I pivot. Dash, pivot, and then I speed it up. Practice this, and then you'll get good with it. I'm I'm, I'm fucking up because I got donut stuff on my hand, but this is this is all you have. This is all I was doing to get good with like the rhythm and the timing of when to pivot and how to mix it up and stuff like that. So. Dash, pivot, dash, pivot, dash, pivot, then dash, dash, pivot, then, then you start to get familiar with the rhythm, then you start to do all of this crazy shit, do the shorter ones to, the shorter ones are actually beneficial, as opposed to the, the longer dash dances, so, because the longer dash dances, you're, you're most likely to hit, go inside their range, but if you... If you do the short one, like you dance outside the range, then you can retaliate. So, just to get y'all familiar again, like I said, hit the lab, dash, pivot, dash, pivot, dash, pivot, dash, pivot, dash, pivot, and just get familiar with the timing, and that's it. Then you start m mixing it up, which is like one, two, you start throwing shit. It's, and then you start to get the rhythm. You're like, oh. Then you start experimenting shit like with pivoting, pivot smashing. Like that, dash, back. This this actually, this is a good, this is, a, I do this a lot. So, when they're in shield, I dash, I dance try, one, two, back. They'll drop shield, spot dodge, or try to grab. So, in that situation, if someone's near shield, you can always opt for this. A good shimmy mix up it's good to know that's when someone's near the ledge so like get familiar with your dance your your uh your distances the short ones the long ones also another one i do uh i dance come back in go dance try stop this is why i say practice tech it's good if you knew all if every mac knew all of this stuff and no one that apply Y'all wouldn't be, uh, oh, Japan is the only one to know how to do this. No, nigga. You practice, too. You know how to do it, too. The fuck? Like, practice dance trotting, stutter stepping. You can do shit like this. And, like, it's, it's just practice. All this shit becomes muscle memory the more you do it. Be, this, this is all I do. I practice movement. Then I practice scenarios. And I'm like, where to apply them. Once you're moving on a nigga, they can't... You're hard to hit. You're a hard target. This is why Mac doesn't have to shield as much. Because he's a hard target to hit. He should never be locked down. Unless the character is a fucking zoner. Even then, you can just, like... Break the zone. So, yeah. Yo, y'all niggas can relax, my nigga. I'm trying to teach y'all some grade A shit here. You niggas can relax. I'm gonna I'm gonna check the sets out. Relax. Anyway, like I said, pivot, dash, pivot, dash, pivot. Then start to do it faster. Then you mix it up. Then pivot smash. A and B set to smash, so you can just boom. This is this is this is great A shit. And pivot, you can do that. F tilt after it. Stuff like that, so hit the lab if you want to get good, like my movement and all that. It's practice. This shit becomes easy within like weeks, I promise you. Anyway though, back to the sets. Alright, Wonder Brad. Can you show off the grab roll tech where I was talking about earlier? Alright, hold up. I got you. <clears throat> That's a good tech too. Yeah, actually, I'll show off all the tech again. That way, I'll put it on my channel, and it's, it's a live stream, so people can. All right, so I'm gonna show you situations where you can do it too. All 
All right, so say if I got DK DK by a ledge and I'm pressuring him, I stop the whole it it, cool, it calms down and I'm just like right outside his range. I can grab instantly. Now this it's dash forward, hit shield, and I hit up on a tilt stick. But you do it fast in in the order. So you get that. So it's dash, dash shield up on a tilt stick, or whatever you got grab. You can do you can do uh, dash shield then grab. You gotta do it super fast, like in order, and you get that. So this has so many applications. You just stay outside the range, and you can you can get them. Only thing DK can do right here is like down B or or tilt you or dash attack. So, in that sense, like, you just want to bob and weave out of his range and just come back. You get, like, the most... Matt gets the most out of this tech. I kid you not. Also, you can, like, faint niggas out. You can just, like, walk away, come back in. That's where it actually... That's where I actually get a lot of grabs. Because I'll be walking back and forth, and then... Hold up. I keep fucking up. Because I'm not dashing first. Back and forth, and then Boom. Boom, like that. So, back, forth, boom. Scared you. You don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. You can just throw out a few tilts or whatever. Just like, ooh, ooh. Oh, hold up. Like, space your tilts. Make sure they don't hit, though. Just like, fake them. And they come back like a mix up. So, if you get. that, That's that's how you. Yeah, let's play Flash. Nah, I, I, it looks stupid. It looks stupid. Also. The reversal one, or the pivot one, you can, uh, it's the same input, but at the last second, you just input the, the opposite way, so, you get the pivot grab version, which is, it looks like he teleports right behind his opponent. Hold up. See? It covers a lot of distance. You just teleport it right in, right, in, right behind DK. So that's good too. You can mix it up like uh, like that too. Uh, but yeah, mix it up. Just you just throw niggas off like oh, got you. Got some free grab mix up. This tech actually allows Mac to continue pressure, whereas like oh they think you're gonna hit shield or do something on the shield and save. Like no, I can just grab you. You think I'm out of uh, you think I'm out of out of range? Psych. That's more that's more pressure. You're still controlling the stage. That's key. You get the more stage, or you position yourself even better. So this is actually you know very useful for Mac. So I want you guys to always practice your tech. Mix it up. That's just surprising. Who's gonna react to this? Who's gonna react to this? You know how fast that is. You can't react to that. So how does the execution work? All right, it's dash first, but the first fr frame of your dash, or a few frames, um, you want to cancel with the shield, so it's going to give you a, a roll, a step roll. So you're like step rolling. Show you the first few frames. See how I dashed and I rolled? So I tapped forward a little bit, and then I rolled. Within the roll, when you execute the roll, just grab. And you get the shield grab, so. And it cancels. Like that. <clears throat> so that's all you want to do. Just cancel the first frame of your dash with the uh, shield. That's it. And that's it. You command Smith. Like, I could be right here. Wait, hold up. Right here. And just. Like, you, DK thinks he's out of range. No, nah, nigga, I got grabs. You safe? Doubt it. You safe? Doubt it. And you get a back toss. Toss him off stage. Doubt it. And they're just gonna keep getting grabbed because they can't react to that. You just right here. Back and forth. Who's going to react to that? This is when they start to be all hasty. So you just keep moving out of their way. 
Simple. <clears throat> so practice your shit, man. That's it.